Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Plastic Swans and today we're checking out the early beta version of this brand new zoo tycoon game, Let's Build a Zoo. The game promises me a lovely zoo experience. We've got panda bears, monkeys, giraffes, but wait, something feels wrong with this scenario. I mean, there's a child in a shark suit driving the bus. Granted, he does have a moustache, but that's a fake one for sure. He's looking far, far too happy to be driving a bus. Nobody looks that happy doing the job. Definitely not if it involves driving a coach load of screaming kids to the zoo. I'm not buying that. Something else that might be hinting at a darker side to this game. What exactly is this thing? Either that's an eagle wearing an elephant mask, an eagle ran off with a tiny elephant's head, or could it be we're playing God in this game? Crossbreeding fun? If so, I am so, so on board. Hey kids, let's go build a weird genetically mutated zoo. Hi, I'm off on holiday for two weeks. While I'm gone, who should run my new zoo? Well, we have a choice of this person, this person. <laughs> it's all the same person. <laughs> They're all clones. Please name your zoo. I think we all know where this is going. Fungenics. Having fun with genetics to make the best zoo in the world. And here we are at our wonderful new zoo. Gonna build our first enclosure. Only grass available at this time, so hopefully this isn't for something that's dangerous. New task, I have a gift for you. Come visit me and I'll tell you about it. Okay, looks like we're off to Australia. Let's see, Sydney Zoo. We had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month and we don't know what to do with them. Uh, have you heard of stew? <laughs> I kid, I kid, we're not putting them in stews. We're getting two free rabbits to start our zoo. Well, the price is right. New discovery, received rabbit. Hardly discovery of the century, is it? <laughs> and here come the rabbits. Delivery airwolf style. Fancy. Ah, oh, our first exhibit. Honking rabbits. Our first guest. Thoughts? I am really not having much fun. This day out isn't turning out as I expected. Come on, give me a break. What about the rabbits? They're right there. It's not good enough, is it? We need more entertainment. Okay, what do we have here in terms of guest entertainment? What can they do that isn't with the animals? Wait, barefoot. <laughs> What's barefoot? Oh, it's one of those picture things. Oh, we're having a bunch of these. Can't complain there's no entertainment now. Also, we've had another baby rabbit whilst I've been building this. That's three. Little bit of a moral dilemma here. Tokyo is willing to give me two capybaras in return for one baby rabbit. And wouldn't you know, we've just had a baby rabbit born at the zoo. I don't know what purpose Tokyo wants one baby rabbit for, but if they're giving me two capybaras in return for that, I genuinely love capybaras. I think I, I have to do it. I have to trade. I'm sorry, baby buddy. Look who's here, some happy capybara. So pretty, so cute. I'm really sorry bunnies about your baby, but on the bright side, I did get you a nice pink ball to play with instead. Zoo's coming along now. We've got a couple of food stalls in, some research facilities. The guests are still complaining a lot, but I think they like that they don't have just the rabbits to look at now. New task, Joe the exotic animal dealer. <laughs> Oh, join the black market. I work for an organisation that deals in exotic animal trading. You're just the kind of person we want to work with. Is this because I sold the bunny? I had no choice. I had to sell the bunny. Everyone knows that. So he wants me to buy an animal from him to gain his trust. All right, I'll keep an eye out for you, Jim. Look what I've unlocked. Trampolines for the animals. <laughs> oh, boingy, boingy. Animal shelter in what looks to be Florida has a goose for sale. Yes, absolutely, I want a goose. Pig as well. Yes, we are absolutely having a goose and a pig in the same pen. They're going to be best friends forever. Goose and pig incoming. Let's see. Oh, I hope they get on. Hope there's no fighting. Nope. Pig is straight over to the trampoline. <laughs> goose just bobbing along there with it. Told you they'd be best friends. <gasps> Joe's back. Got an animal to sell me. Go on then. What is it? Horse Arca. What is a horse Arca? It looks like a cat face with a horse body. Right. Whether it's good or bad news, we can't afford it. Although, looks like I can sell animals to Joe as well. 
Oh no. Oh no. I... I don't know if I'm at that place morally yet where I could sell them to him. Yeah, I sold the rabbit to Tokyo, but I didn't know what they were going to do with it. This guy's on the black market and it's already said that he's questionable, so... No, we're not going to do that yet. I might buy stuff from him because maybe it's given those animals a better life, but we're not selling stuff to him. I can't do it. Can't believe I'm going to do this, but Toronto wants to sell me some horses. You guessed it, for a rabbit. And guess who's just had another baby rabbit? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's terrible, but I want the horses. Limited time quest, genome donation. The Monsanto company has asked me to donate some of their research to you. We've been mapping genomes of different animals for the last decade, and now with the discovery of CRISPR, it's possible for you to create animals by editing their DNA. <laughs> Nicole. Oh, Nicole. You say it's possible, but does that mean we should? I mean, I'm assuming you have no ethical qualms with what we're wandering into here. Fiddling with CRISPR to this extent, it could go bad. This is messing with evolution. The thing here is, I'm not getting a choice to say no here either. The choices I have here are whether we mix the DNA of a rabbit and a snake, or a rabbit and a hippo. So, which is the lesser of the two evils here? Snakes hunt and eat rabbits, as far as I know. So, I feel like a mixed species that way would be basically just eating itself into non-existence anyway. But then with the hippo, would that end up as like a rabbit that's 50 times bigger than it should be? Or is it going to be like a really tiny, tiny hippo on a rabbit's body? I'm more curious about that than I am about the snake thing. Ugh, ugh just the thought of the snake rabbit. Uh, no, no, we're going with the hippo one. So, this is the CRISPR splicer that our scientist is going to run the rabbit hippo experiment on. I don't quite have enough space here to fit it in, so gonna have to buy more land. Job done. Hippo rabbit should be a reality soon. Our horses have arrived. No cat faces, thankfully, though. <laughs> Limited time quest. Commission a fake animal. Horse plus paint equals zebra? Right, so we're just basically going to paint one of my horses and pass it off as a zebra? Well, I don't really have much of a problem with that. That's nowhere near as bad as the crazy hippo rabbit we're making up at the back of the zoo, so go ahead and paint it. What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> they read my mind. Your choices matter. What's all this about then? Heart equals farming? Skull equals buildings with chickens on the top of them. Morality-wise, it feels like we've gone down a dark route already. Here we go then. He's already here with the paintbrush. Didn't take long. I wonder if this attracts more people into the zoo. Would be good if it did. Oh, that was quick. Looks like a convincing zebra if you ask me as well. Join the dark side. Okay, so because I painted a horse... Joe now thinks that I'm on the same level that he is, even though he's the one that keeps offering me these exotic, as he calls them, animals, when clearly they're just animals that have had the DNA splicing already. And it's probably been going on in some backyard garage, not in a reputable institution. Nah, I'm not convinced I like you one bit, Joe. Well, that's Pip's holiday done, and that means we have to hand the zoo back over to her tomorrow. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that our hippo rabbit thing is done and we can take a look at that before we have to hand the zoo back over. We just made it with half a day to go. This, whatever this is, it's ready to place and we can take a look at how big it is. I set up this separate pen to keep it away from the other animals. Don't want them getting scared, I guess. Now, let's get a good look at you. Oh, wow. Rabopotamus, apparently. I just don't get it. Where's the white rabbit bit of this one? Looks like it's been shaved. <laughs> At least it tried. Now, day 14 in this early beta, that's the day that the game ends. I was keen to see what some of the other mixed DNA characters look like. I noticed that if you replay the game again, the guy that sells them to you, it's usually a different character every time. So, rest of this video is my rundown on some of the more colourful characters we can look forward to experimenting with when the game is released. Just sit back and enjoy.